This is called the three-lined grass snake, Somophilax tritaneatus. Very common in this area, in the northwestern province, <coughs> especially in the dry season. In South Africa, these are known as a scarp stecker, which is, which is the Afrikaans word, more or less, for sheep stinger. Because once upon a time, this snake was thought to be responsible for the death of sheep on the Karoo farms. Well, many years subsequent to that, it was discovered that the actual culprit for the death of the sheep was the Cape Cobra. So it's quite docile at the moment. It's early in the morning. It's very cool. The snake is a bit sluggish. Let's see if I can get you a close-up. Yeah. The snakes go. It's got quite an attractive face. Although many people would not agree with me on that. Under normal circumstances in the heat of the day, when they've got plenty of heat and sun, and they've got energy from the sunlight, it's a very swift snake. Uh, for their size, they move quite fast. But they are harmless, although they are known to be mildly venomous. They seldom try to bite. And they are fairly good controllers of small rodents. And this they probably need the speed to catch lizards. But this one is a, what you might call a sub-adult. It's just under 60 centimeters long. It could get another 12, 15 centimeters. It is, it's quite uh, fat and healthy. Staying there, once it warms up enough in the sun, the snake itself will start moving off. Pretty little snake. If you see this in your garden, it normally comes out of piles of bricks or a pile of wood. And you basically got nothing to fear. If you keep chickens, it can't harm the chickens because it cannot get big enough to harm the chickens. Notice the snake is just lying here, basically minding its own business. It has seen me. It's being a bit cautious. Every time I move, the snake moves slightly. But if you look carefully over here, you might be able to make out the snake actually breathing. Yeah, it looks like the snake doesn't actually like my close proximity and wants to move off now. Uh, I'll let him go on his way.